Okay, like the title says in the picture, this is the iPad by a company called Icon. And obviously they're a clone of Cork's NanoPad Nano series. And the reason I'm doing this is because there seems to be next to no information about this. And it's kind of cheap. Like two thirds the price of the Korg or the Akai. So as you can see, it's got um, the same amount of pads as the Korg. It's got the same facilities for roll, hold, and if you press both buttons, it's flam. The same fader, four different banks, and the XY pad. As to whether it's well, the flam, from what I've heard, it's the same. The sensitivity of the pads, haven't tried the other one yet. Here's the control panel, you can change everything there, notes, CC, information. Uh, one thing, you probably want to start that up and set it to go hooked up through the pad first before you start your door of choice, otherwise it spits the dummy and says insufficient memory or something along those lines. Now one of the things that really sold me on this was the idea that it actually had a USB hub, so to speak. You can actually daisy chain these things, as you see there. That's if you've got the uh, keyboard version or the controller, you just plug the other one in and so forth, just using one USB point on your computer or laptop. So the music in the background was whipped up quickly with this little pad thingy in Ableton Live. Now, his sonar playing session drama three with the pads. Okay, it's class compliant. Translation, you don't need drivers. With the exception of XP, apparently. I don't know, I'm actually running Windows 7 64-bit. Fail free to Mimi? No, no, feel free to ask me. Bye.